the perception has been totally distorted by this super individualistic thinking, the egoism, the commercialism, all kinds of hidden desires, cravings, utter selfishness. This distorted perception has made the mind lose the humanity, the connection with this moment. Humanity only exists at this moment. And there's tremendous suffering due to this division, endless division, and conflict within, between people. And we still want to solve the symptom, want to find out the solution to the symptom, without any interest to go deep, to understand, to really inquire, to find out what is really wrong. Why is the mind it's so divided, so fragmented, so petty? You can't find the answer from reading a book or observing others. Because the outward behaviors is the consequence of the very complicated inner thought processes. You can't judge people merely by their outward behavior. Unless you really observe yourself, inquire into the self to understand your own tendencies, your own idiosyncrasies, your own habits. Else, you just accept all kinds of theories designed by other people, all kinds of specialists, or whatever. And then most of us refuse to observe themselves because it is hard, it is difficult. There's all kinds of reactions to the self which blocks one from going deep. So in this world, people keep talking about others, but they rarely talk about themselves honestly. What they are talking about is merely out of vanity, disguise. But it needs tremendous energy to examine the hidden desire, the hidden motives, the hidden tendencies of the mind. Without doing so, we can't really understand why this world is so divided. It's so separated. We can feel angry, we can feel aggressive, lonely, but we can't perceive this utter isolation directly unless we look at ourselves objectively. <laughs>